Good morning everybody and welcome to the video and in this video I'll be teaching you a very important thing basically in Athena uh, using Athena CTAS of course. The goal or the idea is uh, in your data lake uh, you know if you have essentially file inside one particular folder right which means let's say you have a folder called in S3 let's say uh, uh, called root and all the file data files are inside that folder right but in all those files you have a field called date it's a string field and now how do I repartition my data like using that string and date field uh, so that, that's something I'm gonna talk and I'm gonna demonstrate in this video uh, so the goal of the idea is uh, say you have created a data like already and you have you are dumping all the files inside a folder and in all your data there's a field there's a date field it's a string date now you want to repartition your data like using year month and day format so how do we do that uh, this video I'll be talking about that so let's get started straight into action so the first thing that I want to show you is I do have a lot of string dates here as you can see and, and of course I have other columns as well so the way you essentially repartition again I'll show you the S3 structure uh, on, on my notepad so what is the goal here is uh, so you have a folder called root you have all the files uh, inside that folder right so you have all these um, you know um, basically files inside this folder but what I want to do is I want to partition my lake like this right so I want to do my uh, I want to repartition my lake in this format so how do I do that right so let me walk you over that so I hope the font size is visible uh, and again I'll try my level best to uh, zoom in as much as I can so let me expand this all right hope you can see this right uh, so first thing we are saying that we want to create a table called reports partition right uh, we are using a width statement and then we are saying external location we are providing the location where we want to dump our data right in this I'm saying that hey create a folder called reports partition this folder does not exist at the current moment format as parquet we are saying that we want to basically use a parquet format because it essentially helps you to optimize and save cost parquets help you to even you know based on our like um, preliminary test we have observed uh, nearly 40 to 50 percent reduction in, uh, in cost because of parquet and the speed has also increased so uh, now uh, what I want to say is see now I'm doing a select star now in Athena what I'm doing is I'm essentially using this syntax over here so I'm saying date parse I'm providing the column name in my data I have a column called date if you observe here I have a column called date so I'm saying parse the date and I know that date is in this format year month day I'm saying as date and then essentially I'm using a cast function to cast that particular as um, modulo Y essentially stands for year, modulo M stands for month, modulo D stands for date so, and then I'm essentially saying date format as year. So what this will do is essentially these will essentially take particular item and I, I, I actually you know what I can actually show you on a, on a SQL so if I can just say quickly select so I'll, 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 I'll use one of the date just to demonstrate that to you hopefully that works so let's see so here you can see right I was able to parse the year right now if I essentially put capital M this will give me the month uh, string number right but if I put small m it will give me like 08 as you can see right so now what I'm saying is um, I'm saying partition my data like again based on a year and month and observe year and month is in that format so first you have to say year and then is my month if you do month and year and if your uh, order doesn't ma match it's gonna throw you an error so hope this helps I'll leave the snippets in the description again so now what we are doing here is we're using CTAS to create a new table so I'm gonna run this and now what this will do is this it's gonna repartition my data like as you can see I got a new folder here now if I refresh my s3 I have a reports partition and there you go guys year and month beautiful way right and you have all these files uh, inside a particular month of August month of September and so on right 
So this is very, very important uh, to learn and understand, right? If you, if you as a company have data like, or if you have a lot of files on S3, and if you have not partitioned it, you still can essentially partition. I encourage you to use Athena CETAS uh, instead of using Glue, because Glue will cost you a little bit more money than Athena CETAS, right? And then essentially you can orchestrate this workflow using a step function, right? So first you essentially create your tables, right? You essentially partition a lake properly, and then every month run step function on a schedule, which is gonna insert data from that original to the target table, which is a curated source, right? So I hope you enjoyed. I'll leave all the snippets in the description. Hope you guys can um, check that out. And uh, with that being said, if you have any more questions, let me know your questions and I'll be very happy to assist you. Once again, keep smiling, keep programming. I'll see you in the next video.